In this week uh, we saw uh, about descriptive analytics, I started about what is the data and how to describe the data in a plots or graphs, uh, we discussed very basic uh, plots and uh, which plot to choose. Uh, Let us uh, look at few examples uh, about descriptive analytics uh, that is um, let us start with Google Analytics. Uh, if you have website um, and uh, if you have website you can add Google Analytics code on it and you can see how many students are, how many viewers are using this website, what are their behavior and everything. Let us check the Google Analytics and understand what this analytics means here. So, this is a sample uh, Google Analytics page of our website, one of our website. Um, here uh, I am showing a data of last 28 days. Uh, from the Google uh, Analytics. So, it is simple, uh, it uses a simple um, uh, simple line plot. So, you can see the line plot and uh, it tells you uh, that uh, one particular day there are more number of users compared to the other days and how this user is changing over time. So, the number of users is really low uh, except one particular day there are more number of users on the particular site and uh, it is again low. So, last 28 days this shows the simple line chart. Uh, why line chart? Because it is uh, shown to show the progress or trend over time, over time that is from uh, last 28 days. So, it is a simple chart to show how many users are visiting a website. Or if you look at the user traffic, uh, Google Analytics gives me the bar chart, a stack bar chart. Okay. So, here uh, the bar chart is showing last 90 days, not 28 days, it is more. And uh, you see there are more number of users or direct uh, users like they did not search to go, go to Google and find it instead uh, we might have shared the link to them they would have clicked the link directly in their mobile phone or, uh, or in a WhatsApp or from base Facebook page or from the website of our web page. So, there are like uh, most number of users um, I would say like uh, if, if you compare all the users um, around 90 percent or more than 90 percent of users are direct links. There are few users are from social link and few from organic search. Organic search is the one who came to this website by searching in Google. So, it is not happening much. If you are a website owner, uh, if you want to know why the people are not coming to your site from a Google search, it might be because you might be lagging the uh, tag words or keywords or you have not done the SEO like a search uh, engine optimization. Uh, SEO will lead, get more kind of customers from Google search to your web page. But this web page is not uh, doing good in terms of uh, pulling the users from uh, Google search. So, most of the users are from direct link. So, let us look at this plot, um, we have not talked about this plot uh, in our uh, basic plots. This one is called 8 map, this is a space plot. So, space plot is very easy to understand because it is to show the world map or uh, a map in that which, which particular place is. Uh, more concentrated, it is also kind of heat map on the space. So, here the more darker indicates a lot of users from this. So, maybe around 95 percent of users are from India, very few are from uh, Ethiopia or Mauritius or uh, Tanzania or uh, United States, a uh, few users from Japan as well. So, there are very, very few users are from other continent or other countries, but uh, most of the users from India thus indicates in the space chart. Uh, this is a heat map, uh, we are looking at the heat map on last 90, uh, last 30 days sorry. So, if you look at, so if you look at the heat map, it is distributed for 7 days on all the time like a 24 hours uh, no, 7 days. So, um, this darker color indicates uh, the more number of users are using that particular time, the light color indicates uh, the less number of users are using this particular uh, or checking this site. You can understand that uh, from morning 2 am to 4 am this is almost uh, very less users or gray color which indicates there is no user in this gray color box indicates there is no users viewing this page at that time. It is obvious that if most of these uh, users are from India. And so, uh, obviously they will be sleeping at 2 to 4 pm, they are not checking any websites or they are not looking at the websites for uh, uh, our websites. So, that is obvious right and uh, if you look at it for on a Thursday um, on an average of 30 days, Thursday 
uh, around 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. as a more number of users seeing it. Uh, we do not know what happened. If you, if you, if you uh, remember the first chart I showed on particular day, there are more number of users that particular day might be to a Thursday. That is why this number is increasing. So, yeah, you have to compare not just one chart will tell you all the detail, you have to th combine this chart with the number of the day which the students had more number of users will tell you that. The time 2 to 4 because the sleeping time for most of users in India, that is why it says that. And this is a behavior flow, um, this is a bit uh, advanced to know that uh, which particular web page, uh, web, which particular page a student moved from the landing page to other page. Almost all the user landed on this page that is the home page which means they directly came here, they did not come via some other page. So, they directly come to our page. So, that is why we saw that direct search is direct it is most 95 percentage. After they land on the home page, some of them dropped, most of them went to the uh, technology, online technology page, a second page. Few of them went to some uh, teaching links or something like that. So, you can know that where the user wants to go from one page to other page. So, if you have a website and if you have a Google Analytics code can be embedded with that and you can check your analytics in your uh, uh, Google Analytics. This is Google Analytics of one of our web page uh, which we uh, embedded uh, recently then we are looking at this data. Um, like uh, it is good that all the people who land most 24 are going to this particular page, 14 are going here and uh, say around 50 percent are going to the next page of almost 50 percent might be dropping out or uh, people might be landing from different pages directly instead of the landing page. So, you can see this uh, interaction first interaction second interaction you can go further, but uh, uh, if the drop is increasing there is no need to go further. This kind of behavior flow chart actually tells you within the web page uh, where the user is uh, going from one page to other page, right. So, this is useful for uh, uh, viewing the page. Consider you are creating a learning environment which has 10 pages of reading and they have to create something, they have to answer something. You expect the students to read uh, 10 pages of document or some content and ask them to answer some questions, the simple learning environment you are creating. In that, if you have the analytics like this, then you will know that when the student uh, transfer from one particular page to other page, what happened, where they are dropping out, all this information can be captured by using this kind of behavior flow. So, we saw one example that is Google Analytics dashboard, uh, we will have a we will see a couple of more examples uh, in a descriptive analytics like a dashboard from YouTube analytics or a dashboard from some other uh, MOOCs or something like that. Thank you.